Hello everyone and welcome to the Cafe Academy. Today we're going to talk about how to start your coffee shop from the ground up. Now I'm very excited to be here in front of you guys today to let you know that knowledge is power and that the more you know, the more you will grow and achieve financial success. One of the things that could be stopping you from achieving your success right now is the lack of information on how to start your coffee shop. There is a lot of topics that we're going to cover here in this YouTube channel, The Cafe Academy. But in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to create a business plan that will bring success to your coffee shop. First off, before we start, we need to understand what the purpose of a business plan is and how we can make a business plan that works for your coffee shop company. Now, the purpose of a business plan is to use it to explain what your business does, your background, how you're going to operate and make a profit. It will also answer questions about why people should invest with you, how and when you're going to be able to pay back shareholders. Now, a well-developed business plan will provide you with one access to the necessary investments in the bank affiliation with which you plan to work with. Two, a structured plan of action that will show what stages you need to complete in order to end up in a profitable business environment. Three, the most effective software and hardware to maximize project outcomes. Four, confirmation of your commitment to your business while building partnership. Five, a direction towards a source of stable profit after the organization. Six, possibilities for achieving the most important business milestone. Seven, brief and organized information for your potential investors when you present your business. Eight, a strong credibility when you enter your sphere of interaction on an international market. Nine, an in-depth understanding of competitive market and the ability to adapt correspondingly. 10, the perception of main KYC principles, which stands for know your customers, that concerns your industry. 11, accurate evaluation of the capabilities of the establishment. 12. Information on business improvement. 13. Risk reduction strategies that will help you avoid common mistakes. Now, a business plan is a complex document that should include all the information needed to lead you as a coffee shop entrepreneur to a profitable environment. So with all this being said, we are going to tackle on how to create a business plan in order to access the necessary investments in the bank affiliation that you plan to work with. We're going to have a two part video on how to create a business plan that will increase your likelihood of getting the capital you need to fund your coffee shop business. After watching this video, click on the link in the description to watch part two so that you can fully learn how to create a successful business plan. Visit thecafeacademy.com to get your free copy of the Cafe Starter Business Guidebook. This book will set the foundation and give you tips and strategies to get your coffee shop started, such as learning the secrets of a successful coffee shop and four key winning strategies to implement before starting your coffee shop. Links will be provided in the description below. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is create an executive summary. Now, what's the executive summary and how does this contribute to helping you get the loans you need to fund your coffee shop? There is no precise framework that you can use to create your executive summary. You can be as creative as you would like. An executive summary's main purpose is to summarize everything into a small, concise paragraph. You want to be very interesting and very engaging in your executive summary, which will evoke the interest of whoever reads this and will want to continue reading more to see what else is in your business plan. So think of the executive summary as the cover letter to a resume. You usually use the cover letter when you write a resume to include other additional and interesting information that will intrigue the reader and make them more likely to contact you to get to know you more. So you can, for example, use a picture of yourself performing a certain type of task in a cover letter in a resume. And you can also include a particular situation that has occurred and how you rectify the problem and so forth. You can also follow the same process when it comes to creating an executive summary for your business plan. Today, we will generate a few executive summaries on the spot so that you can identify the pattern and understand the concept of the executive summary.